so so today we'll be talking about my journey from an aspirant to alumni so this is today's agenda first of all we'll be talking about me my life before open source my journey in open source and gsoc 2023 first about me i am aditya a third year computer science student a full stack developer who loves to contribute to open source i was a google summer of code 2023 mentee at rocket chat and i worked on guided tours and code walk through project with amazing mentors singh and kevin and this year i got opportunity to be a mentor in rocket chat so rocket chat community is really amazing they welcome everyone and it's a really welcoming community last year when i joined rocket chat i was welcome too whenever i had doubts i would just go ahead and ask and there was always someone who used to reply and to be honest i have never seen any other community who does a weekly workshop and hands on coding sessions and teach their uh, new contributors how to build let's say a rocket chat app so let's talk about my life before open source so being from a cs major i didn't knew much about programming so i started programming in around mid 2022 it was summer holidays and i was completely focused on learning new technologies so first of all i started first of all i decided what should i learn so i went uh, with the web development track so first of all i learned html css and javascript as everybody else does and side by side i was building some projects but i was learning but i was not sure if i was on right path or not if i was learning correct things or not and what is efficient way to write production ready code so like when someone new writes code isn't exactly what he should write it's it's like a a newbie style of writing code so a professional won't write that code so so uh, i had that urge to you know have a look into a professional code but there was no way at that time for me to look into it then i came to know about open source so i came to know there's a place called github where i can have a look into code bases of huge organizations and these organizations are called open source organizations then i start started looking into some small code bases and learning new things then i had a question in mind why should i contribute to open source so open source isn't only about looking into other code bases i could have also contributed i had you know everyone can open up issues so why contribute to open source softwares first learn new skills and get real world software experience for example if i am learning a particular skill but it isn't the case that a software would use that particular you know uh, let's say a language only a software is built from a combination of different softwares and other technologies so from that point i got to learn on the go let's say a software is using react on the front end and i only know javascript so and it uses python in the back end so this isn't the case that i won't learn python so what would i do is i would go ahead read the docs of python and try to also contribute in python this is the skill that you gain from the open source you learn on the go and hence you are also getting a real world software experience you are looking at the code which is production level and it is already in production and many people are using it second point is making impact and making connections so when let's say you are uh, contributing to a project that is used by hundreds of thousands of people and uh, you want to add some feature you can just open up a issue about that feature and you can build it up and it when it gets when it gets deployed hundreds of thousands of people are using it it's another level of self self satisfaction and making connections and uh, like 
when you are already contributing you end up making good connections you have open source friends you get connected with the people who are working in the organizations like abhinav said already and uh, improved resume you can add your open source contributions into your resume and many hiring managers love to see your open source contributions let's talk about my journey to gsoc with a lot of struggle in searching across different orgs finally in january 23 i decided to put my efforts contributing into rocket chat there were many different organizations but all of them were you know like confusing to me so and this was the organization which matches my tech stack and uh, i started contributing here it was not easy it was not easy to contribute into rocket chat's huge code base as you, most of people here are already contributing to rocket chat when were you all were a beginner it would have felt really overwhelming even i was it was not easy to understand and it was if it was not easy to understand hence it was difficult to contribute or maybe it was easy it was not that difficult either though it was overwhelming but breaking down things made it easy you can always break down the code you can remove some pieces of code and see what does that particular piece of code did even i used to do that in the beginning to understand if i remove this particular piece of code this uh, there may be a change change here so it gave me better understanding it it wasn't a piece of cake to understand but it has amazing developer friendly docs as we have already mentioned <clears throat> rocket chat has amazing documentations you can go ahead and read the docs i used to study the docs <clears throat> and see the uh, look into the code base and try to understand things better difficult contributions gave me a chance to have better understanding of code yeah i agree that uh, for a beginner contributing could be difficult but you should have that never give give up attitude and uh, you should keep contributing keep trying 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 and uh, in the end you will end up understanding the code base and end up making a contribution are you good enough everyone have this doubt that uh, am i good enough so first of all is stop doubting yourself even i had doubt that uh, you know i cannot contribute everybody gets that imposter syndrome that i don't fit here i don't belong here but you shouldn't get these things you should always have a positive attitude even if you aren't making any progress but you should keep continue anyone can do it we are here to learn nobody is expert nobody knows everything everybody learns something every day so just have that learner's attitude <clears throat> let's talk some other things about gsoc uh so first thing is you should always help others and be active in community so don't do open source just for gsoc you should you know interact with the community you should help everyone because when you help someone you get to learn something new let's say someone uh, got got a bug even you don't know but after some research you will understand why why this bug is coming hence you will end up learning something and you will also help the other guys uh interact with mentors and discuss your idea before before submitting a proposal you should always have a communication with your mentor you should always discuss your idea present it to mentor if it's possible do a meet or discuss with them write a proposal and you can request your mentor to review it no mentor would you know disagree that i want to review your proposal you should just ask them they they are here to help you so ask them don't be shy as abhin of said many people take uh, you know negative reviews on propo uh, proposal as uh, they don't ask again so don't have that attitude work on it and ask your mentors again thank you uh, i am aditya and yeah